Hello everyone, welcome back to Wondershare Recovery, a data recovery program that's designed to recover a variety of deleted files from different situations. We're back with another video, and today we'll discuss how to fix the stop code page fault in non-paged area error in Windows 10. It's one of the many blue screen of death errors that crashes the system and triggers the blue screen of death. While the error usually goes away after a simple restart, there are a few situations where it may persist causing your system to repeatedly run into the blue screen. If that's the case, make sure to watch this video right to the end as we'll take a look at some of the most effective solutions to troubleshoot this blue screen error. Before we get into this issue, make sure to click that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, we'll start the video by understanding the reasons behind the stop code page fault in non-paged area error code in Windows 10. Unlike many other blue screen errors, this one is commonly associated with hardware components. In fact, in 90% of cases, the blue screen error usually occurs due to damaged or faulty RAM. But in some situations, several other factors can cause this error. These factors include corrupt system files, incompatible or outdated drivers, bad sectors on your hard drive, and lastly, a persistence of malware on your system. Now, since the page fault in non-paged area can occur due to both hardware and software related issues, you'll have to try different solutions to troubleshoot the problem. The first solution would be to update your device drivers. Faulty device drivers are one of the most common reasons behind this error. So before starting with more advanced solutions, let's start by updating the device drivers. To do this, press Windows and X and select Device Manager from the list. Now expand the Device Drivers option and right click the, your primary driver. Then click Update Driver Software. On the next screen, select Search Automatically for updated driver software and that's it. Your system will automatically search for the updated drivers from the internet and install them on your device. If updating the device drivers doesn't fix the problem, the next step would be to check your PC's RAM by running Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. Considering faulty RAM is the primary reason behind the stop code page fault in non-paged area error, you can diagnose the RAM using Windows built-in memory diagnostic tool. Start by searching for memory diagnostic in the Cortana search box and click on the first search result. Now click restart now and check for problems. Your system will check the RAM for potential faults and restart automatically. In case the RAM is damaged, you'll have to replace it with a new one. If you are still running into the blue screen error, the next step would be to disable automatically manage paging file size. Though Windows automatically manages the paging file size, it can often trigger unexpected errors like this one. In this situation, you can simply disable automatically manage paging file size to fix the problem. Right click on this PC in Explorer and click Properties. Then click Advanced System Settings on the right menu bar to open up the System Properties window. Now, switch to the Advanced tab and click Settings under the Performance tab. Again, switch to the Advanced tab and click Change under the Virtual Memory section. Finally, uncheck the Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drivers option to disable this feature. Restart your system and see if this fixes the problem or not. In some cases, hard drive related issues can also trigger the stop code page fault in non-page area. You can use the Windows built-in utility Check Disk to get the job done. This utility is designed to automatically scan and fix logical errors on your hard drive. Here's how to run Check Disk in Windows 10 to fix hard drive errors. First of all, click on the search bar and type CMD. Then right click Command Prompt and run as administrator. Then you want to type this check code in the Command Prompt and then press Enter. Check Disk will run and repair your hard drive for logical errors and you will no longer see the blue screen error anymore. If nothing fixes the problem, you can try to run the SFC scan utility. 
SFC stands for System File Checker. It's a utility that's designed to find and repair damaged system files automatically. Again, open up Command Prompt as Administrator, as we've shown you before. Now, type SFC Scanner Now and hit Enter. That's it. Your system will automatically scan and repair corrupt system files, and you won't have to deal with the blue screen error. Now, that's how you can troubleshoot the stop code page fault in non paged area error in Windows 10. Let's take a look at what to do if you have lost any important files due to this blue screen error. Ideally, the easiest way to get back your files is to use your emergency backup. But in the case that you haven't created any backups, we recommend using Wondershare Recover It for the job. It will help you retrieve all the deleted files within minutes. The tool supports more than a thousand file types, which means that you'll be able to recover all of your data without any hassle. Here's how you can use Wondershare Recover It to retrieve lost files due to the page fault in non-paged area error. Install Recover It on your system and launch the application to get started. On the home screen, select the location where the files were deleted and then click Next. Recover It will automatically start scanning the selected location to find all of the deleted files. Be patient as this can take a while to complete. Once the scanning process completes, you'll see all of the deleted files on your screen. Browse through these results and select the files that you want to retrieve. Then click Recover at the bottom corner and select the location where you want to save the files. So that's how you can troubleshoot the stop code page fault in non-paged area error in Windows 10. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to drop us a like and drop a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos in the future, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you stay updated. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.